you finally decided that you're starting your business and you have decided that it's going to be a shapewear brand but the issue is you're not really sure what steps you need to take in order to finally start that business now i know it's not the first video that you're watching about how to start a shapewear brand but i'm hoping it's going to be your last because i'm going to be sharing everything that you need to know about starting your own shapewear brand and on top of it i'm giving you some suppliers that you can actually use so that you know how to get started because i think the number one question that a lot of people ask me is when it comes to suppliers where to get the suppliers and so on so i have made sure to include that in this video let's jump straight into it with step number one before you even do anything you need to decide what products you're actually going to be selling now i know we want to sell anything and everything at this point but when you're starting off whether it is your budget or the fact that you have a specific target audience we're going to go into that in a little bit um you need to have decided what products you're actually going to be selling i will be showing some examples on the screen of what you could sell in your shapewear brand but all i'm saying is you cannot start out with selling every single thing okay because you have a specific person that you're going to be selling to and that person you need to have a almost like a signature product that you're going to be starting off with this is what you're going to be launching this is what you're going to be known for as you're starting off i think you've seen this with quite a number of brands where they start off with a specific product for example would be skims so they have a specific product that they are known for but then as time goes on they have other products that they start launching and so on and adding into their store i think it was that um little tiny looking um, bodysuit that they were selling and that got people to start talking about them that got people to be excited about it more and more people started buying that product but as time went on they started expanding and bringing in new things i'll be showing you those examples of new things that they have brought in but what i'm saying is you have to start out with something you have to start out somewhere but you cannot start out with every single thing even if you have the funds for it the second thing that i always suggest that people do right after they figured out what business they start or what product they're going to be selling is to figure out who your target audience is who are you selling to is this shape with plus size women who want to have a flat stomach who want to fit better into their dress who are you selling this to you need to decide this because this is going to then make up every single thing going forward the suppliers that you're going to actually be buying the product from are going to be determined by this because if you've decided that your target audience is going to be plus size women you need to find a supplier that actually sells plus size shapewear okay the reason why i always suggest that you find suppliers instead of like you know creating this thing for yourself is because a lot of the times when we're starting off we don't have the time Let, let's just be very honest right now we don't have the time to be making you know handcrafting this whole thing on our own when we're starting off so it's best that you actually find someone who's already doing it anyway who has good quality product and you can just buy it from there now once you've determined your target audience and who exactly you're trying to sell to we then move on to step three which is finding finding your manufacturers finding the people that you're actually going to be buying the shapewear from now some examples of where you can actually buy from is number one lingerie mart number two is lady made number three is fair fair i don't know how to say the word okay but you will see it on the screen and then lastly number four is alibaba.com now let's put in some perimeters here now if you're buying from alibaba.com i literally have a video on how to buy from there that like helps you make sure that you do not get scammed number one and then on top of it to also make sure that you actually good, get good quality products now what i need you to actually understand is that you need to look for the quality that you want and which brings us into number what number are we on number four i think i don't even remember what number we're on okay order samples don't be stupid and go buy in bulk and then now you have a, a lot of products that are just terrible quality okay because that's not going to be very very helpful you're going to be wasting money if you do that so order samples so that you can see whether or not this is something that you actually want you can order samples from the different suppliers that i've actually shared with you and then from there you can actually choose which one actually works best for you step number four five is to start creating content on social media to market your business now i do have a video again on how to market your business before you launch which is going to be very helpful for you but in terms of like marketing your business i think the number one thing for shapewear um which i even spoke about in another video where i was actually talking about how you can market your business and so on and i was saying that you need to show the before and after so you need to show before they wear the product and then after they wear the product what's the difference between the two how will they actually look how will they feel in that dress when they now have your shapewear on these are the things that you actually want to show people because you are trying to get them basically when you are selling shapewear you're trying to sell 
not you're trying to you are selling confidence you're helping people become more comfortable uh comfortable and confident in their body because already they don't feel like they look good in a dress and wearing your shape is going to make them feel good and look good in that dress and that's what you're going to be selling to people so even if you don't have the products yet you can actually talk about shape where you can talk about how people can start looking better or feeling better in the dresses that they're wearing you know and also figure out you know this person that you're actually selling to what is it that they actually value why would they buy shapewear in the first place how do they want to look in that you know um, um in their dress and whatever it is that they are wearing what is that they're aiming for as they come to you to actually buy this shapewear number six is to organize a photo shoot now this means you need to find models maybe okay because i don't want you to show your product on the floor okay it doesn't help with anything okay when people don't like just looking at the product itself your product is nothing special it looks just like everyone else's product so what you need to do is you need to show people how it looks on someone's body you need to show people the you know even what i was saying about how you market your business you know the before and after how someone looks when they have the shape way on and so on and someone gave a very like important tip which i'm going to give you now where they were saying that you know people show shapewear on skinny models which is not very helpful because a lot of the times people who are putting on shapewear are people who are much bigger people who are you know who don't have the flat stomach okay you're not going to show the product on someone that already has the outcome what i mean is people who are looking for shapewear are people who want to have a flat stomach but don't have it so why would you show the product on someone who already has the outcome that other people are looking for you're basically scamming people in a way okay because you're showing them that is false advertisement you're showing people people that they can have a flat stomach if they wear your product but you're showing it on someone who already has a flat stomach that doesn't make any sense okay find people who look like your target audience find people who look like the person that you are trying to sell to put the shapewear on them and show it on them how does it look on them do not go and look for a people that don't fit your ideal customer avatar ideal customer avatar is basically the person that you are selling to okay now in terms of the photo shoot itself it is up to you whether you're going to be hiring a photographer i would suggest that you do that because a lot of the times we don't have the knowledge to actually ha have a whole photo shoot on our own but you know if you want to try your luck you can always you know look into different online courses so that you can learn how to take different photos and whatnot but a lot of times we don't have that time i'll suggest that you just find a good enough you know because a lot of the times our first launch is not going to be that good find a good enough photographer who's going to charge you i don't know how much per per picture or per thingy per hour so that you can actually have your photo shoot and that would actually work for you because you're trying to look for pictures to put on your website and to put on your account and so on for your branding and whatnot step number seven is to then create a website now there are free or cheap website builders that you can actually use we'll have a proper video where i actually talk to you guys about it but what i would suggest you do is to either choose between you know getting a website builder um using a website builder one of the two that i will suggest that you actually look into is wix or shopify shopify if you have the budget for it but since you're starting a shapewear brand you should have the budget for it okay um or else you can actually get a website developer to do it for you if you want a website developer you know email me um i will put my email address in my description in the description below i know someone who is a website developer so i can always you know uh, hook you up with the person number eight please know during this time you are what you are continuing to create content and consistently creating content so now you're going to get the people who have been your audience following your journey and whatnot you are now going to create an email list you're going to take the audience that you've built on social media and turn them into your email list subscribers the reason why we do this is because you want to have direct access to them there's a whole different type of intimacy okay that you have with people when you're actually contacting them through their emails compared to them being your followers following is very easy email address someone giving you their email address that's a whole different level of you know i i get you like that okay so you need to make sure that you are giving people something in return no one is going to be willing to give you their email address if there's nothing they're getting in return okay so whether you're going to create a lead magnet so maybe you're going to be talking about you know dresses um how to look good in a dress and that's what you're going to be talking about you know you tell people hey i'm going to give you a guide on how to look your best in a dress and through that guide they give you your uh they'll give you their email address and then you have their email address and now you're going to be sending them emails depending on the content that you're creating you're going to be you know talking about that type of stuff in your email list you make sure that you're posting at least or rather you are sharing at least one email 
a week when you're getting closer to your launch day you actually then allow people to pre-order okay you want to allow the people that are in your email list your email list subscribers to pre-order your uh products so that number nine i forgot what number we're on okay on number nine when you're launching your business people who already ordered the products you're going to now be sending out their products on the day that you launch so that you can entice more people to even buy from you you go live you tell people hey we've launched i'm going to be packaging this um i'm going to be packaging the shapewear that people have ordered and so and then you let people know so that you can get more and more people to actually buy from you while you're doing that you're showing people the different products and so on and that's the best way for you to launch your business you want to launch and immediately start making sales now because because I've made it this far and I love you like that, I do have a checklist that I am going to be giving to you, which is on um, different things that you need to make sure that you have before you start your business. So it's literally a breakdown of every single thing right here. I didn't even talk about your business name. I didn't talk about anything, but there in that checklist um, that I will be giving to you for free. Cause I like you like that. Come on. I'm nice. Okay. Um, it's going to be in the link in the description below. So make sure that you go and check it out. And obviously you're going to be giving me your email address. Okay. <laughs> do you see what i'm doing there yeah email us yes make sure that you check every single thing that you have done and make sure that by the time that you are launching your business you are set to go now since you've made it this far okay be nice okay and like and subscribe because you you're going to stick around anyway okay the next video that i want you to watch right after this one which is about how to market your business before you launch because since you've decided that you're starting a shapewear brand you might as well learn what you need to know about marketing your business before you launch so this means without any products without any inventory what do you start doing in order to market your business you're going to learn everything in the video that i link in the end screen or else in the description below because you know the end screen kind of <laughs> throws me off a little bit it's going to be in the link in the description below so make sure that you check it out but i'm glad that you are here i hope that you stick around i will see you in that video